In health news tonight, the risk of skin cancer among young people. A Yale study finds the use of tanning beds significantly raises that risk. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa with a closer look. Lauren Hurd no longer longs for that healthy glow from frequent visits to indoor tanning salons. Melanoma at 22, you don't think that you're ever going to hear something like that. Lauren is convinced the concentrated UV exposure tanning indoors while she was in college led to the diagnosis. You choose to ignore the warning signs and you choose to want to continue with this habit and addiction and it brings you to a bad place. <laughs> now a Yale study finds that people under the age of 40 who tanned indoors have a higher risk of developing skin cancer. Specifically, researchers found a 69% risk of early onset basal cell carcinoma among mostly fair skin participants compared to those who never used tanning beds. It's the first time that we were able to demonstrate that using indoor tanning increases the risk of basal cell cancer in people in general and specifically in young women. Study co-author and dermatologist Dr. David LaFell at Yale School of Medicine says that could explain why doctors are seeing more cases of BCC in younger patients. And the reality is that the harmful ultraviolet rays that come from the light bulbs in a tanning parlor are in some cases many times more powerful than the natural sun that people tend to get. BCC is the most common form of skin cancer and is highly treatable. And while it doesn't tend to spread in the body, if it's neglected, it can cause local problems and damage. A three inch scar. I just saw a little bump on my leg one day. Is a constant reminder of Lauren's scare with skin cancer, something she wants others to avoid. You start um, kind of making excuses to yourself and to other people about why it's, uh, it's okay to continue doing it. Last year, Lauren was among those who testified in support of an indoor tanning bill in Connecticut requiring parental guardian consent for someone under the age of 18 years old. It didn't pass. Supporters hope to resurrect it during this legislative session. Back to you.